In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a cool 3D effect on text using motion tweens. Okay, so I'm going to make some example text. So I'm using a custom font called Ador64, and this is available to download from a number of different free font websites, so it's worth checking out. And the reason why I'm using this font is, as you can see, it's quite pixelated and retro, and this works really well with the effect I'm about to show you. Okay, so I'm going to go to Window and Align and just click these two buttons to make sure it's in the middle of the stage. Alright, so next I'm going to convert it into a movie clip symbol. And then I'm going to make a motion tween. And I'm going to make about 20 frames. And by the way, I'm using 25 frames per second for this. Okay, so I'm just going to have the text start in the middle and then I'm going to just have it move diagonally just like this. That will do fine. And then I'm going to select the motion tween and I'm going to add 100 on the ease. So you should have a very simple motion tween with ease applied to it. All right, so I'm just going to call this main text and then I'm going to select the motion tween and copy it. And I'm going to make a new layer. I'll just make it underneath. I'm going to call it underneath text and I'm just going to paste my motion tween onto it. I'm going to lock my main text layer and then I'm going to go to my underneath text symbol and then I'm going to go to style and brightness and just make sure the brightness is about minus 20%. Okay, so now I'm going to copy my underneath text motion tween and make 10 new layers. And I'm going to move this to its original position up here. And now I'm just going to go through and paste in my motion tween into each of the new layers. Okay, so all we have to do now is just select each motion tween and then drag it and just offset it by one frame each time, just like this. And this is the main reason why I chose motion tweens as opposed to classic tweens because on motion tweens you can just select the motion tween just like this and just drag it. So it makes things so much easier. Okay, so the effect is almost done, but all we have to do now is go to where the original motion tween ended, so here, and then just select all of the frames afterwards and then just go right click and remove frames. And now we have the effect. All right, cool. So it creates this really nice layered 3D effect like this. And do you remember before how I was saying how it works better with a pixelated font? And this is because the effect itself is quite pixelated, as you can see here. So it helps if the font itself is pixelated as well. All right, so I hope you found this tutorial useful. And if you want to see more like this in the future, please subscribe.